Welcome, one and all, to the KOE Nation for a very long time coming spirits review. Tony, this is the one. This completes the Dalmore collection. This is Gordon and McFiall, 14-year Dalmore bourbon cast edition, connoisseur's choice. Let me just, uh, oh, goodness gracious, folks. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE. We are here at the KOE Nation. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, folks. And I am joined by my indomitable broadcast partner, the one, the only. Tony G, like, share, subscribe. Hot diggity, we're finally here. Yeah, this one. this off. Yeah, like, uh, I, I picked this one up basically the first time we made an order of Scotch whiskey on a website. Yeah. And that was at the beginning of COVID. And uh, I'm just going to bring this around so the folks can see. Um, mm. The Connoisseur's Choice Range. Ooh, this does sound delicious. Lying at the heart of Gordon McPhail's unrivaled portfolio, this range demonstrated the purest of perfection in matching cask with spirit. Always non-chill filtered, these single cask and small batch expressions offer an ever-changing collection of unique perspectives on distillery's own bottlings. For the malt whiskey explorer, this delivers a journey of discovery through different flavors, finishes, strengths, and vintages. Trying to get it to get all clear for you folks, but it just didn't seem to want to. So I'll just have to tell you, this is a Highland malt, carefully matured in our own casks with spirit entrusted to us from Dalmore Distillery. So after distillation, Richard Patterson, this was not his creation after distillation. Okay. So, all right, this is a Highland malt. It was filled in 2005 batch 20-098 this you'll like 57.6 percent alcohol by Man, volume cask sick. strength uh, cask strength scotch. scotch how many times can you say that uh, not enough of this particular how do they put it out turn i like that out turn of this particular one there's 255 bottles wow. of this in all God's creation. Wow. Uh, it was bottled 1609-2020. So. Pretty fresh from when you got it. Yeah, yeah. So. Wow. And then this was maturation refill bourbon barrel cask. And it gives you the cask number in case oh, wow. we were to want to even... And then it gives you a lot of uh, tasting notes. We won't get into that quite yet. But the result of more than 120 years of pursuit of perfection. Is that a... Uh, nope, that's not what you read. That was the other side. Of okay. Box. An ever-changing collection of unique perspectives on distilleries, own bottling. Yes, non-chill filtered. So, yes, we've, we've covered all this. 14-year cast strength scotch. And I feel like I've been holding on to it for almost that long. Um, yeah, that's fair. But, yes, folks, we're finally doing this because this is the final <laughs> bottle of Dalmore that I have not opened that's in my collection. Presentation's very nice. I do got to say the box is pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm digging it. Set that off to the side, sir. Now, here we go. Let's see how the cork pop after all these years. Nice. That was, that was a hard pull too. Lovely. So. Mm. Okay. Mm. And the debut of these new Glen Cairns I picked up. All right, well, it's not a dark, dark color, which you would expect with a Dalmore, but of course, this was not finished at the Dalmore Distillery, so yeah. you're getting the, you're getting a real scotch look with this. I, I know a lot of people crap on coloring your whiskey, but uh, it's so beautiful when you do it, but mm -hmm. this is, this is actually a very pleasant light color, so. Oh. Oh, wow. That's delightful on the wow. nose. Um, I would immediately guess space side, honestly. Well, I was going to say it's hmm. the bourbon casking really shows up. Yeah, um, agreed. Because oh, wow. you can tell this is malt. Yeah. But it also has some of those 
very, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very typical, very just trademark bourbon smells. Sure. Now, I I was sipping on Napo Castle 12 year just last night. So yeah, which is bourbon casking. So I'm getting a lot of the same notes here. You had some caramel, some vanilla. It's a little muted because it was a once used cask. Mm. <laughs> wow, this is delightful on the nose. Well, T. I um, love this nose. And the, it, the longer you really get familiar with it, you can start to see the strength. And of I this. do get some butter. A little. So, like a melt. I can see why your mind would go to Space Side. Mm hmm. But he's also a bit of a Space Side partisan. So, a bit. Here we go. Mm. 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 Yeah, it only really feels like a high one now. Mm. Well. Oh, wow. That surprised me. Woo! Mm. This is oh, up man. your alley, T. Um, oh. Because there is a bit of... Um, Hell yeah. Minty. Um, a little. I'm getting... On the back end, I'm getting notes of like leather, tobacco. Um Small bits of those bourbon sweet, but not much. It's just kind of like what's wrapping it this, around. Uh, this is a completely different comparison, but flavor profile. This immediately reminds me of Elmer T. Lee bourbon. Really? On the back end, yeah. I was going to say the McCallum. Mm, mm -mm. Just because of how much of a flavor ride it takes you on. On the very front, yeah, I can see what you're talking about. But to me, that dissipates pretty quickly. And that back half is so powerful. Now that I've gone in again, that I get the leather. Mm. Wow. I can see why you would compare this to Elmer now, because mm -hmm. Elmer is kind of a leather bomb. For yeah, you. It, is. Um, it is. It is. It's, it's I delicious. get a little more, but uh, okay. So yeah, that leather is very present on the back, mm -hmm. but I get some real nice um, sweetness all around. It, it, it does have a very unique sweetness to it and dare I, I dare i say some kind of nut mm -hmm. i was gonna say uh, yeah probably uh, uh don't say it you're gonna say it i, I was thinking cashew okay okay all right well t let's read yes. the uh, front there <clears throat> citrus zest shocker gives way to sweet tropical fruit with a hint of mixed nuts marshmallow Okay. Hang on, yeah, yeah. Maybe toasted. I okay. think where they're getting marshmallow, we're getting like leather yeah. and tobacco. Yeah, I think it's kind of same wheelhouse there. Uh, compliment dried banana and subtle milk chocolate. Mm. And a medium bodied finish with lingering toasted almonds. See, I didn't say it, but. <sighs> I didn't have to. You knew. It's you knew. On the it, it, you knew. <sighs> this is delicious. Uh, I'm not getting hardly anything that they said on the bottle, but I am getting, like you said. I think this is one that. If you let it set Specifically, for a while, yeah, what the bottle says, this would be a drop of water. Now to. Explosion. Okay. Now, I'm going to keep the, the fine people at home entertained while you keep that on your palate for 14 seconds, yes. So yes, and while Tony G does that, be sure to also check him out at Tony the Rod 2.0 on TikTok because folks, we are a social media empire that forever expands. And that's right after you subscribe right here to Kiwi Nation on YouTube. But yes, this particular scotch, I've been waiting for a long time to get into. And I figure, uh, full disclosure, uh, we're filming this WrestleMania weekend, so we figured this is a good occasion to do so. Why not? It's just a good time with you people at home and all the beautiful things that come with it. Oh, wow. Now I'm going in. Oh, the the almond actually does really kind of burst through at the end there once you've had about 10 seconds in. But it gets very buttery. It, it, it thickens up on your palate a little bit, actually. You're going to get a lot of heat initially it's hot but once that dissipates Woo! yeah once that dissipates it's it's just creamy buttery and nutty i love this great stuff 
<laughs> very, very good. Wow. That's a ride, man. <laughs> wow. This this scotch bite back. This that, one bites back. This is that rivals is nice. anything the McAllen has ever done in my mouth. Mm. In terms of just a roller coaster that wow. Wow. <laughs> That's something. Um That's beautiful. Fantastic. Really, really nice. Huh. So there's 255 of these in the world, and I suspect most have been drank up. I, I was going to say, there's probably like a dozen that haven't. Uh, and if you happen to have one, one. <laughs> yeah, do it. Um, this is lovely. Or call us and share it with us. Uh, that too. Yeah. Uh, Let's compare. Okay, we get to the really tough part, T. This is tough. The grading. For those who don't know, we grade on a five-star scale. Five meaning you have to have it before you shuffle off this mortal coil. Zero meaning pass it on by. The KOE Nation has advised you well. So we're going to grade this as a single malt, as a scotch, as a whiskey, or no, as a cascade spirit. Okay. So okay. sorry, so sorry. And it's shelving. Mm -hmm. And then for those new to the show, the secret of question. Got so it. as a single malt scotch oh this is tough this is tough um i'm gonna go uh, this might seem harsh but three and a half yeah that is a little harsh because it's a great single malt it is that's why I'm, it's not i'm not just fanboying out over this i know but, but I, i'm gonna give it four two five wow I'm only saying that because this came from the Dalmore and was finished elsewhere, and it's not it's not standard what a single malt would be because you're not typically going to get a cask strength scotch like this with a single malt. So it's definitely not standard single malt in my mind. Don't worry, the grading will definitely improve from here on out, though. For me, anyway. Yeah, I'm going to stick with my particular rating. Now, um, as a scotch, putting it up against all the scotch whiskey in all Scotland. I'm gonna give this a solid four because this is fantastic. This, I, I think this one would definitely open up the longer you sit it out, which you'd love to have with a scotch. And again, with the ABV being this high, this is definitely unique enough that uh, this is gonna impress some folks. So solid four. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I gotta say like bourbon cask strength can burn a little bit. Can. But Scotch cask strength is a burn that you've never felt before, it's folks. Huge. And now I understand why the folks in the distilleries in Scotland are like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't get it, Yanks. We need to water this down a bit for you. Uh, so, like, I think I understand now. Like, now nah, you're. So, yeah, this is a very unique burn. Uh, I'll give it that. Um, but I'm going to agree with your rating yeah. four stars as a Scotch whiskey because amazing stuff but scotch is a wide wide world of sports there. you got to be careful there yes now cask aged spirit putting it up against all the whiskeys all the rums cognacs everything in all the world of cask aging uh, i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna go first here and i'm gonna give it 375 as cask aged spirit mm. excellent stuff 14 years in a cask but again, wide, wide world of sports there is my consideration there. Um, see, I think we're flip-flopped on uh, how we grade this because I'm going four and a half on cast because this, to me, the intricacies okay. of the flavor profile here, I think that's all the casting. You know what? You sold me. I'm going to kick it up to four. Okay. So, uh, because yes, this is artfully done cask aging, yeah. I got to say. Um for and well done doing a Dalmore in a way like you could definitely tell that the casking was not Richard Patterson. Uh, yeah, this is this is uh, not this is not typical presentation to color to palette. Uh, yeah, you, you can tell you see the inspiration, but yes, the finishing definitely not the same as a typical Dalmore. No, no, not by any means or no. measure, but. Very interesting stuff. Mm. And I think I'm going to be enjoying this. Um, probably This will be uh, a storm whiskey. Mm. Like when a big thunderstorm's rolling through and I'm standing on my front porch watching it come in, mm. 
I think this is going to be the one now. Um, wow. So, well, shelving, that's a silly question. Yeah, um, it's going to my top shelf as well. Yeah. Uh, this is just, this is going to be a very special occasion whiskey for special friends on special occasions. Yeah, that's um, delicious. And then the secret fifth question is, when this bottle runs empty, will I seek another? Unfortunately, you can't. Yeah, because I waited a couple years to open this, and I'm betting if I try to, like, because there's only 255 of this, I bet if I try to buy one, there's probably about a dozen left, like you yeah, said. Yeah, it's going to be. Awesome. And a lot of folks are thinking, yeah, I really enjoyed that bottle last year. Wow, you waited way too long. Yeah. Uh, but, yes, yeah, this is. I have a feeling that this uh, particular offering from Gordon McPhail, there's going to be plenty other offerings probably from the Dalmore that are going to be not as good, but maybe better in some instances. So I think there's probably a good variety out there that would be at least in the same wheelhouse. Yeah, but so there's another reason I opened this one, T. It's because I'm going to create something. A Dalmore Forever bottle. <gasps> and I could not create it with this bottle still sealed. And so now the Forever bottle can be created. So folks, keep your eyes on this space for that one. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I bet if you uh, added a little water, I think the water. I think yeah, the fruits like and the stuff would come out. But mm. definitely, wow. Yeah, this is one that. Uh, That's a burn there. This is definitely one I. I never like putting scotch on ice, but I would consider it in this case. Well, with the fire that's here, like oh, it, it not takes the it, fire. I just I think it would open up. Very true, very true. But we'll um, start with water and then this. Yeah, up. like I would love to seek another one, but I'll never be able to. This will be the only one of this I ever own. <sighs> so. Unfortunately, folks, thank you for joining us for this very special review of this very special Dalmore. Folks, raise a glass to yourselves out there. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. I hope all of you make it back to the KOE Nation. Happy, healthy, much the wiser. God bless every last one of you. Travel well, like, share, subscribe. Tony G, take it away. This is lovely and I would definitely definitely suggest if you can get your hands on a bottle or at least sample some cask strength scotch do it do it in a heartbeat mm, we'll see you next time later folks Promise to refabricate you Raging rivers of gold That's what the brochure advertised And now we're lost We gotta take it down Let you get them slow It's hard to survive Eldorado Oh lord well, let's see how that one went. Yeah. Uh, nope, you just deal with the mullet. <laughs> you don't want the Phil KOE ponytail back? I'm good. It's your favorite, though. Yeah, you and Brock Lesnar. All right. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Same guy, basically. Yeah. He reminds me of a younger version of myself. The kid's got potential. Potential. Maybe if he sends me a tape, I could get him booked. <laughs> you just dated yourself. Send me a tape. Oh, God damn it. <laughs>